Ellen DeGeneres' production studio, Warner Media, they're investigating her for creating a toxic work environment and being a really mean boss. What? She's supposed to be the nicest person on earth. Yeah, Ellen's supposed to be the nicest person in the world. Dude, Ellen's supposed to make your dreams come true, and why is she fucking people over? She's literally white Oprah. <laughs> white Oprah. But she's the leader that gives away all the cars and happiness, bro. Why is she being so mean to her crew? I don't understand. Like, is this like a normal thing to be an asshole in Hollywood now? She just puts on a face when she's on camera, but when she's backstage, she's a total dick. It's like when I worked at Chick-fil-A. For eight hours, my boss made me be super, super nice, so right when I got off, I was a complete dick. You you never said my pleasure again. No, I never <laughs> said my pleasure. <laughs> yeah. They're investigating her because of a ton of tweets that came out. It was a whole big thread called Ellen is mean. Jeez, Ellen. When I was working on a show, one of our stage managers said that he worked for Ellen and on her door it says, do not stare the host in the eye. What the fuck? Yeah, when Ellen walks down the hallway, you're not allowed to look at her in the eye. You have to look away. Basically, she's just fucking Medusa. Yeah, it's like if you stare at Ellen, you get frozen. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't like anybody looking at me either. <laughs> like, don't look me in the fucking eye. You're saying that you won't let your employees even look at you in the eye. They have to look at the ground. No, it creates fear. It puts fear in their hearts so they work harder for me. Okay, but I don't think Ellen's a fear person. Yeah, apparently she is. <laughs> this woman tweeted, when I was 15, Ellen Show was doing a contest of fans making a bust of her head. I sent mine in. Later, she used it as a prop in a game and gave it away with $500. Dude, I would too. That bust looks like shit. It looks nothing <laughs> like her. Yeah, but dude, Ellen's supposed to be like super giving and just like accept it. Bro, at least she threw $500 on it. <laughs> yeah, it's a giveaway, man. At least she didn't throw it away or destroy it on TV. This person on Twitter said that they're working on the same lot as Ellen and they're grilling a ton of steaks for somebody's birthday and Ellen flipped out and send somebody to stop them because she's vegan. This is why people don't like fucking vegans. <laughs> they have to destroy all the fun and put their veganism on other people. <laughs> you really don't fuck with vegans? No, it's like, oh, I like eating meat. My whole life, I love eating meat. That's how I gain most of my nutrients. Everyone loves meat. If you don't love meat, that's fine, but don't fucking tell me why I shouldn't love meat. For sure, you really like to beat your meat. <laughs> Facts, he does. You're talking about meat nonstop for a full minute, bro. I just hate vegans. Bro. Okay, okay. This tweet says that this person worked for Ellen and saw her in the hallway every day, and she would never say hello back or smile. Ellen's like, how the fuck do I keep my show relevant? I need more guests. <laughs> Dude, how is this Ellen, bro? This is Ellen DeGeneres. This is the woman that I always like, oh, wow, she's so nice. I would love to be on her show one day. But now it's just like, fuck. <laughs> like, if I'm not a guest, I'm literally a slave. She like, literally has generous in her name, and she doesn't even look at her employees. <laughs> she's like Darth Vader. Like, none of the stormtroopers can look at him. She just walks down the hallway. <laughs> Dude, if you look at Ellen, she does the force choke on you, like... <laughs> She's like walking down the hallway. Ellen, how are you today? Shut the fuck up, I'm preparing for Michelle Obama. <laughs> All her fans love her, but the people that actually work with her just hate the fuck out of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like working at Chick-fil-A. No one fucked with me, but everyone loved the food. So, yeah. Yeah. We love the fact that she gives away money. But it's very clear that she just doesn't give enough to her employees. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, this one's awesome. This one's awesome. This tweet says, She shamed my entire culture for our staple food source, seal meat. <laughs> we are Inuit and lived in the Arctic. Damn, <laughs> dude. You don't let your fans eat seal meat, bro? Vegans are pretty much tyrants. <laughs> and I don't okay. like it. Have you ever seen my video interviewing vegans? I do eat organic. I did also happen to eat a McDonald's burger before this, that would not be okay if I was to become a vegan. Do you find it being a vegan hard to get gains and get big muscles because of a lack of protein? That's not necessarily something I'm aiming for, but there are a lot of vegan bodybuilders. Uh, protein does not have to come from an animal source. There's protein in all plants, especially any green leafy vegetable. Uh, beans like marijuana. It's not a vegetable. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys can check out more right here. These are great videos right here. As well as the fact that if you want merch, click the link right here. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Trailer Gang.